All right, Scotty, thank you very much. Welcome inside our hockey laboratory. This is the Hall of Famer, Bernie Federko. I'm Jamie Rivers. Bernie, we're going to talk about Ryan O'Reilly. He comes back to the lineup tonight. He's one of the best face-off men in the league. And a couple of things that I've noticed, and I want to pick your brain on it, is that when he goes into the face-off, he seems to always go to his backhand and turn his hand over. And then he lines up, and he's ready to go. What are the advantages to that? Why is he doing that? Well, you have obviously more leverage when you're on your backhand. I mean, I think that we always uh, you'll see notice a lot of times that the uh, if it's faceoff is to the left of the goaltender in his uh, defensive zone, then it's usually a left-handed center iceman that outs there. If it's to the right, it's usually a right-handed center iceman because the idea of the game is to try to pull the puck into the corner away from the trouble in front of the net. So uh, the leverage you get way more, Jamie, is that when you can put your slide your hand down, and when you're leaning in, especially if you're like this. You can actually go back between your legs. You can go this way, whatever you want. But you get, I mean, you'll notice that he slides his hand down. Some guys will hold it at the very top like this, but you'll slide your hand down. And this, oh, you're trying to get right over the top of the, of the puck, actually, to drop it so that you can pull it back. All right, so a couple more things we're going to go over here, some, uh, some more tips from the Hall of Famer. We're going to welcome in John Kelly, our very own John Kelly. He's going to be our referee here for a second. And, Bernie, what are some of the things that a centerman's looking for with a linesman specifically? Well, you're basically, it's all about timing now. I mean, the whole league now is that you winning the faceoff, really, I think there were guys used to cheat. There was a lot of cheating that was going on. And now by putting in these hash marks, uh, they make the guys really get set up. They make the defensive player put their uh, stick down first, and the offensive guy comes in. Now what he's got to do is he's got to stop before the puck's dropped. He's got to get his, as soon as his, his, his stick is down, then the linesman will drop the puck. But the key is, as you'll last watch Ryan, is that you're watching the linesman's hand because he's the one that's dropping it. So you're not just looking at the ice. You know where the ice is. So when you're putting your stick down and all of a sudden now, so as soon as you're watching the puck now, as John drops it, then you're just trying to pull it back. So obviously you've got a lot more leverage this way. If I tried to do it on the forehand, this way, it's a lot more difficult to try to get your puck or your stick around in your body to the position that you can actually pull it back into the corner. But, I mean, Ryan doesn't do that very often. Ryan is just really, as you said, always a backhander, but you'll see a lot of the guys, and when someone starts beating you on a consistent level, then you have to change things up. A lot of times you have to go try a forehand, try something different, go in a little late, get your stick down earlier as you can. So you've got to try uh, something different because a lot of times it becomes a mental issue. And when a guy keeps beating you over and over, you just say, there's no chance that I'm going to beat him. So I may as well try something different. But uh, for the most part, it's the leverage that you want to get. You'll notice that the guys are right-handed the same way. A lot of guys will, will not even turn it over because I felt that when I was playing, I didn't like to turn my hand over over like this way because I can only come back. This way, if you have a hand this way, you still got as much leverage, but you can actually poke it forward and you're still gonna be on your forehand an awful lot of time. So that's kind of the couple of things. And uh, But it's a timing issue and I think Ryan's got such great timing. Uh, he's strong on his stick too because you have to have a lot, obviously a lot of leverage, you gotta have a lot of strength on it. And he works on it and hey, he takes, uh, in practice, he takes more face-offs than, than anybody. He's always out there practicing something else. All right, he's a Hall of Famer, Bernie Federko. John Kelly, thank you so much for your time. That's a little bit of a peek inside being a centerman and also why Ryan O'Reilly excels here in the NHL as a face-off man. Scotty, back to you.